called Decker and you're watching Robin's Crossing. I'm still kind of nervous about like doing everything with Decker, so it was a great first experience. So, yeah. We were living in old houses.
house is drinking coffee with my spouse. I swear in that moment I loved you. You have a very distinguished and beautiful singing voice. Are you classically trained? Yes, I am. I have I worked with the same vocal coach for probably the last seven years of my life, and he's taught me everything I know. Uh, you recently auditioned for the television talent show, The Voice. Uh, you didn't turn any chairs, but you did turn some heads online. How's the response been to your audition? A lot better than I expected. Like, I expected to have people watch the show and then they're like, yeah, you know, she wasn't that good, she didn't get any chair turns, whatever. But, like, I got just as much press as the people that did get chair turns, so it was definitely an awesome experience for me, and it was the best outcome possible. full band, Bell Store, uh, you were the lead vocalist leaving most of the instrumental duties to your bandmates. What's it like now that you're playing music on your own? Weird. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I was really wanting to like pursue something that I could have full control of and I was really excited to kind of finally find my own sound. Um, but it's also been great because Bell Store has been helping me this whole way. So. They're still really excited about me, and they're helping me in any way they can. I actually had our guitarist track on my EP, so everyone's still involved. You are the apple of my eye, thinking of you makes me smile. See you, but then you love to 
Um, when I came back from Los Angeles after, well, when I came back after The Voice, I was mainly just, like, really feeling strong about, like, certain songs and everything, and I felt like with the Hostwas schedules, we didn't have the opportunity to tour as much as I wanted to and play as many shows and do as many things as I wanted to, so I thought, why not do it on my own if I'm the one that can for sure, you know, for sure do that. So I just... I decided I wanted it, and I said I want to release an EP in April, and this was like in October of 2012, and then it happened, so I just put my mind to it, I guess. That's good. Tell us about the record. Where did you record it? I recorded it at Bongo Tree Studios. Um, Joe did the Dreamers album for Bella Stoua, and uh, he, I mean, him and I worked on it very long and hard, but it was definitely a great process, and uh, the songs are all really close to me, and they're written about things that I truly feel about, um, especially Swing. So I I just feel like it's finally me. When will we see a release? It releases on April 22nd. Good. And uh, what future plans do you have for Decker in your future? Um, lots of touring. <laughs> oh, like a ridiculous amount, but I'm very excited for it. Anything planned? Anything you can talk about? Um, yes, I have a tour coming up in May. It's for like seven days, and then there will definitely be some more in uh, the rest of the summer as well as 2013-2014.